Well, I think Ding has given up on this tournament, and he doesn't want to play anymore, and he's just going to try to draw every game. But there's a 30-move rule for drawing. I think Ding just wants to go home. Yeah, he's having a bad tournament. He's playing bad. He hasn't played in a long time. Yeah, I agree this is an exciting round robin. All right, well, the hype train's not going anywhere. I guess I'll do the marker if there's no mods here. Okay, so we're going to look at the fir the first game we're going to look at. Uh, Ding Loren, the world champion, is white versus Jordan Von Forest. And I think like two years ago, maybe, Von Forest won the tournament, which doesn't make any sense. Um, yeah, okay, so this was not one of the more exciting games. They played a four knights English. Okay, E3 is a move, G3 is a move. This is pretty popular. Um, I'm not familiar with bishop takes c3, and I would assume queen takes c3, but he took with the b pawn. Anyway, the players know what they're doing. They're they're playing theory. So, okay. Uh, e4, attacking the knight. Knight g5, attacking the pawn. Queen e7, defending the pawn. Always play f3. Now, black played a strange move, but I assume this is his preparation. I don't think... Hey, Indo Queen, I was just thinking about you that we haven't seen you in months. Also, I've been listening to Snoop, so they say Indo a lot. Um, this has to be prep because I don't think somebody would make this move on their own. You've been creeping... That begs the question, which song called Creep is better? Stone Temple Pilots or Radiohead? The answer is Fries. Um, yeah, so you could take the pawn, which is what I would do. Play D6. The engine says this is equal, so I guess this is all theory. And white's a pawn up, and white has the two bishops. But white's pawn structure is very strange. Um, he's got doubled pawns here, double pawns here, an isolated pawn here. I guess it's difficult, especially for this bishop to get active. Anyway, this is all prep, obviously. I, I just don't know it. Okay, so played f6, never do that. This should be 2, h5, h3, b6. So black is playing like a... Uh, a hold'em game, like holding the position and not letting white break through. So it's very hard for white to do a pawn break, like ever. And if you play d4, d5, you're giving away the e5 square, and then your none of your five pawns can move, which is not good. Okay, so castled. Yay! Go hype train. They trying to learn. Okay, and then white played rook f2, which seemed very active. Put it in h, d3, king e7. I don't have much to say about this game. It's like black decided to block white, and white couldn't, you know, white is a pawn up, but he can't really move his pawns anywhere. And his bishop on c1 is quite bad. So nobody's really doing anything. They're just moving around, doing nothing. Yeah, now the engine for first black until c5. I guess I'd rather have black here since white's so passive. Okay, and then this is move 25. Uh see here bishop e2 
I guess I guess White said he was going to play bishop e2 and claim a draw. Yeah, he can claim a draw by saying this, but that move should be included in the record because you can't, this isn't three times yet. Or maybe it is. No, he said, has he played bishop e2? Ah, maybe it is. This is one. Let's see, wait a minute, I'm, I'm an old man. Works on h6. This is two. Yeah, he has to play bishop e2, so that should have been included because they're not allowed to agree to a draw uh, before move 30. And this was obviously a draw claim, and the draw claim was that white would play bishop e2, and then he didn't... It's not on the score, so very suspicious. But I'm doing well, thank you. That, that was one of the more boring games of the round. And it was sort of a non-game. Like, White didn't want to play. Um, so they didn't do very much. Let's see a game review. I already saw the game reviews, but I forgot what they said. Okay, this is taking too long, so I literally don't care. <laughs> 